you're about to listen to our program Eng. We don't know why, however we are grateful you chose to. We do wish to inform you that the views, opinions and overall morality, do not necessarily reflect those of the station, interview guests, sponsors or musical entities. If you should choose to continue, and we sincerely hope that you do. Just know, we tried to advise you against these actions and we are not responsible for any damage done to your sanity, morals or ideals. Thank you. Here comes the terrible siren. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are the Cult of Odd, and I am your cult leader, Odd. With me in the studio tonight is uh, uh, my friend and, and housemate, Billy. Hello. Uh, my, my lovely concubine, Ollie. Hello. And uh, over on the other side of Ollie is uh, uh, Bitch Tits, I guess yeah. is what we'll go with. <laughs> that works. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to know, I'm here with my con- concubine and Bitch Tits. I mean... None of that should fucking surprise any of you. One of us. You yeah. know what? After this week, nothing will surprise me. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is the COVID special. <laughs> the entire house of Odd came down with COVID. The entire house. All Everybody. fucking five of us have COVID. At the with same time. Variant different symptoms and like we didn't think it I, I i didn't think it was covid right off the rip i thought it was just a cold or a flu you know it came on like a cold or a flu Same it up. wasn't like what i had last time where it hit me like a fucking truck well we're also all vaxxed yeah that helps. i'm grateful for that that there's a world of difference if if this is COVID, which we know it is because two people have tested positive for it in the household, we're just assuming the other three have it because we all are sick like the other two that tested positive. But night and day difference between how it affected me pre-vaccine mm-hmm. versus post-vaccine. Nope. Post-vaccine has its own fucking annoying things. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But I feel like I'm going to live. I want to die. But I feel like I'm going to live. That's different than normal how? <laughs> well, um, with uh, the, what we had before, I legitimately thought I could have died. Yeah, his fever was so high, he was delirious, and like, it was before, we had COVID the original time before it was the U.S. announced. Yeah, We had COVID before it was cool. We're, we're virus hipsters. Great. Virus I hipsters. hate it here. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. Anyways, um, but so th- the thing that is fucking with me most is the body aches. I am fucked, ladies and gentlemen. I am in, well, I was in so much pain. I am currently as high as giraffe nuts right now. All right? I, not just a regular giraffe either. That giraffe is wearing like eight inch stilettos on all four feet. So. so yeah. You've got two 40 milligram edibles in you and a 10 milligram edible. Yeah, and and I took a couple of hits off my pipe, and that's just so I can fucking manage. Um, yeah. I can't stand up without being in excruciating pain. I can't sit down without being in excruciating pain. I, I can't exist 
right now without being in excruciating pain. So, <laughs> with all that being said, any of you out there that have any inkling on how things are going to go this weekend for uploads and whatnot, I guarantee everything will be uploaded by the end of the weekend. <laughs> Beyond that, <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. It just depends on how I feel after three hours of sitting in this chair, if I can edit and make sure that things go up on the same schedule. So, uh, bear the fuck with me. The Bethesda release. God damn it. <laughs> They played the launch version of COVID before the patches and DLCs. Seriously, yes. that? Getting really tired of this, Bethesda? Just <laughs> launch the full game. No, no. No, no. It's Wait, not Bethesda, because I didn't glitch through anything. <laughs> not everybody does. <laughs> Any Bethesda game I've ever played, I've glitched through something. Ah, fair. Maybe EA? No, because there's no downloadable content here. No, because they if didn't make was... me pay extra for the symptoms. Oof. I want EA's I w- COVID, please and thank no, you. you have to extra to not have symptoms. Oh, no. The DLC is the removal. Oh, well, I don't like any of it. Fuck. <laughs> no, sir, I, I don't like say, it. I didn't get charged for the vaccine, the COVID tests. Like, we get- this is an indie game, let's all be real. <laughs> Look, whatever your feelings are, uh, one way or another, because I know there's people out there that are still against it, uh, I'm not getting into that here tonight for this, because I am too high to watch my tongue. <laughs> so, what I am going to say <laughs> is uh, that uh, just keep yourself safe. Do whatever you can, you know, because it's, it's not fucking around, and it's not going away, no matter what the hell they say. Um, and uh, damn, are we lucky to be able to have the vaccine and it not be? Because honestly, yeah, we've all felt like it's like a really bad sinus infection on top of like a chest cold. Like that's all we felt, and the fatigue is it's so a bad, bad. Flu. It feels like a bad flu minus fever. Yeah, no fever, no vomiting. Now, you, you had the fever. Yeah, for... you had a couple of hours of a hundred point two. Yeah, about that was six it. hours of a hundred point two. That was it. And it was done. Well, because I originally thought, okay, this is probably cold or flu. Again, <laughs> wasn't thinking COVID at, when I started to, to feel funky. Um, and I didn't even really like feel funky, funky. I, it started with a, a tiny little scratchy throat. Yeah. And then it was just downhill from there. Um, but so typically when I'm feeling sick, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up in as many blankets as I can and try to burn the bitch out of me. Does not work for COVID. Does not work for COVID. <laughs> COVID. Do not recommend. Zero no. out of ten. Zero out of yeah. ten. Bucks. Will not be buying again. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but uh, so and- that could be also too why I had the 100.2 fever is because I was. I was yeah. right under the heat vent wrapped up in his in two blankets and just trying to burn it out of me. We also can't figure out who brought it into the house. I mean, it could have been... And the only one it's us. not is you. Yeah. Because I don't, you don't leave the house I don't at really all. Leave. I am the only one who is innocent. <laughs> yeah, Ari has a 9 to 5, Eric has a 9 to 5, and Billy and I go out and do DoorDash and Instacart all day. Yeah, it could have been literally anybody. Anybody. Yeah, we have no clue. But that's with all of us wearing masks... Yeah, and all of us using hand sanitizer. And the that's... crazy thing is, is I, I'm a pretty big germaphobe <laughs> myself. You know, like they're, they're, I, I stay to myself. You know, y'all want to know why you don't fucking see me is because y'all dirty. Yeah, every single one of you. You just disease factories. I love you. <laughs> I love the little you know microbes because they're part of you. But I don't want any part of those little microbes. Okay, so I, I love you. But no amount of showering will make me feel comfortable most days. Uh, yeah. And I, I don't know. I, I, it, it's gotten worse as I've gotten older. And the pandemic didn't help any. Because the pandemic... Oh, wow. Before, it was always just, you're being crazy. It's all right. You know, I, I get it. You don't like your hands dirty. But come on now. You're, you're being paranoid. And then COVID came along. 2020 happened. And that uh, part of my brain was like, well, I guess... Um, I was wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, please don't. Oh, it's already too late. You've wrapped yourself in a bubble and you're not coming out. Got it. Yeah. I hate to t- say I told you so, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a, a lot of you. conversations. Thank you. Yeah, I uh, um, <laughs> is a combination of planky and eyes uh, work. It was an emergency putting that in because 
last time we were using the chat room this much. <laughs> booting people out. It was booting people out. We had so many, so we were like, yeah, we got to get a new chat. Yeah, had I been on last week, you guys would have seen it then. But um, So I went to Plaky and I uh, said, we need a new chat room. And Plaky said, well, what do you got in the way of suggestions? And <laughs> How about go fuck yourself? That's this this is this is what I had in the way of a suggestion. So Hey, I like it. It's fun. You can choose your, your username or whatever you want it to be. You can change the color <laughs> yes, of your text. Um, but no, who it is. <laughs> COVID, yes, it was. Yeah, honestly, for those of us who immediately quarantined, it really was. It was fantastic. Leave me alone. That's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> and I got it. You know, it, it was great. Some movies were being released at home. Yep. Fuck, I hated the theater. I've always hated the theater. Like, I get it that some of you love it and whatnot, and that's wonderful. You know, good for you. I personally fucking hate it. I hate being crammed in a dark room where I can't see anybody with a bunch of other people that are coughing and sneezing and farting and, you know. I'm sorry, that just sounds like movie night in the basement. Well, but it's it's my but farts, it's, it's my job. coughs, it's my sneezes. <laughs> He knows all those weirdos. Right. <laughs> These are people that I know and I've chosen to, you know... And it got you COVID. Yeah, see? <laughs> You're not helping. I'm sorry, Arkin. <laughs> she was taking a drink and I got her. Oh, poor bitch tits. <laughs> so, I, yeah, um, I don't know. I, I'm slowly going crazy, I guess is what I'm saying. And it's cool. Going? I'm, I'm, I'm good with it, you know. You're going gone. At least I'm not... <laughs> I'm not stickering up walls yet, so I think I'm okay. I mean... I mean... That's because you don't have the stickers. Probably. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Ari got to see the sticker wall at Paul's, and that was wild for her. Yeah, I, I feel like if we got you the stickers, the walls would already be done. You Honestly, got, yeah, down here... We you guys might wake up stickered. <laughs> Just... I could see that. I was going to say, I'm sorry it. now... That you decided to do anything to me while I'm asleep. Well, <laughs> I know better than to go up those stairs because I know you randomly sleep nude. Ah, but you also do randomly fall asleep if you get too high downstairs <laughs> in the living room too. I will so. fall asleep anywhere. We know. It doesn't matter. We know. Lucky. Uh, so this week, um, the interview that I have for you guys is Carl Gottlieb, the writer of Jaws, and uh, as he calls it, the fish movie. And let me tell you, I I was excited as all get out to, to be able to have this interview, and um, I cannot wait for our patrons to be able to see it in full. I've got the interview roulette tonight, um, and interview roulette... Can you English? No. No, I cannot. It's been a long week. Yeah. Uh, Holy Mother is trying to get into the chat room and she's saying she's having issues. Chat room loading. Yeah, if you are, um, if you get the chat room loading but it never loads, um, clear I... Clear the cookies. Clear, clear the cookies in your browser? Yeah. Um, so click the little... That seems to help. I don't know why. Mm, yeah, I'll click cookies. the little lock screen, the little lock thing next to your URL. Remember, it is new, and we are still like I was. I was going to beta test it last week. Yeah, and I was sick. Welcome, you have beta tested. Yeah, and uh, Planky said it, it, it worked fairly well for him on his show Thursday. So I'm going to say this: I what? can't tell which one of you said that, and that's why I know it's probably Chris. Wait, what? What? It's in the chat. Yeah, read it. Don't just respond to it, because I have no idea where you're reading. Roland's. Just the first two that just came in. The worst part of the theater is you can't smoke dope. I don't know which one of them it is. Oh, that would have been either one of them. That's exactly what I'm saying. And you know what? They're right, though. Yeah. I don't smoke, but like you can't bring edibles, really. I mean, I mean you can. Yeah. But you got to get a girlfriend with a purse to carry them. Or tits. Or tits. Your girlfriend has a thousand purses and all of them big enough to hold edibles. Yeah, but then we have to agree on a movie to see at the theater. Yeah, yeah, that's well. the hard part. When I could just sit in your basement and watch movies. <laughs> be sub- Pick up my damn TV. <laughs> be, a, be subjected or inflicted to movies. Uh, yeah. I don't ever pick which movie we watch. I just sit down here and let your husband pick. It's like uh, live and what action. happens? It's live action MST3K. <laughs> what he said? You're trapped. 
what happens is the misadventures of Mistress Maneater. Yes, there's a lot of M's in there. Yeah, um, actually, no, we did. We watched a romantic comedy called uh, The Misadventures of Mistress Maneater. Um, we'll actually be talking to the director and the uh, writer actress of the movie uh, in a couple of weeks. But like oh, I said, nice. tonight we have Carl Gottlieb and, oh uh, man, if you've enjoyed like Dr. Detroit or um, you know Johnny Dangerously or The Jerk, you've, you've seen Carl Gottlieb or you've, you've seen his work. The movie Caveman, um, which you can see on Tubi if you really want. It's, it's a fun movie. We talked about his life and his career, and we talked almost zero about Jaws. Thank God. I almost got out of the interview completely like I wanted to without talking about Jaws. The only thing that I did in the beginning, and I didn't count this, is because it was part of the lead-in. And I was talking to him. I was like, you're most well-known for writing Jaws. However, I don't want to talk about Jaws. I want to talk about all this other stuff that you did and started listing off things. Um, And we got through um, the majority of the interview. And one of the questions towards the end of the interview, he mentioned, because it, it... His answer tied in with Jaws, but it wasn't a specific Jaws question. Yeah. And I was sitting there, I was like, oh, I almost did it. I almost, almost got through all of it without having to talk about Jaws. But he's got a book called The Jaws Log, and any questions that you could ever possibly want or have about the movie is in The Jaws Log. He, he's been talking about it for way too long. And the fish He has to be movie. sick about it. Yeah, That's he why just, he calls it The Fish Movie. Yeah, he refers to it as The Fish Movie. Uh, but that's avail- That's going to be up and available for our patrons this weekend. Uh, of course, full show will be up as well for our patrons some point this weekend. Just, yeah, bear well, with we me. We feel like it at this point. <laughs> we feel rough. Yeah. It's yeah. been a long week. And rough, rough. Good boy. <laughs> oh. Um, the, but the interview roulette segment is cool because um, I stumped him on a question. And you'll hear it. And he makes me ask him another one. I was going to... Dr. Detroit is not a medical drama. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I like that. I, I, would, I, like that I would watch though. Hootis' version of it, though. Accurate, Hootis. <laughs> but not what the movie's about. <laughs> so, um, we've got a bunch of stories and stuff that we were, uh, we're going to be talking about tonight. Like I said, I'm as high as giraffe nuts right now because I needed to be in order to be able to sit in this chair and, and do this. And after, I think I'm making cocoa. Yeah, because I'm... Oh, God. I'm... We're going to make high cocoa. <laughs> All right. Let's do this then. <laughs> uh, no, who this is not, Paul. I actually don't know if Ace is listening tonight or if he's, he's in the chat room. In the chat. I know that. But he could be running into issues the same as uh uh the Holy Mother. I'm wondering too, um I know some people for whatever reason still get the the unsecured version of the website. I wonder if that might be why. I don't well, know. that might be part of it. Um if if in your URL bar it doesn't say HTTPS that could be an issue um, as to why the, the chat isn't loading. No, it's I, not Corey either. Yeah. yeah. That would be Alter Boy. No. Who this is Dan the Superfan? Mm-hmm. Dan the Superfan is is uh, a, a longtime listener of TapDetroit.com, and he became a Cult of Odd member because, well, we're just He fucking joined the cool. cult. Yeah. He joined us. Like you should. Yeah. Like Join us. Should. Um. I hate this shit so much. <laughs> Do you? Not really, but I also yes, very much so. I'm not sorry. I know you're not. It's 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 just been a rough week, folks. Um, we haven't really done too much uh, other than sit and watch TV and feel miserable. Um, I did introduce um, Ari because I don't think Billy was down here uh, to Red Dwarf. Uh, he went to sleep. Yeah, yeah, I passed out and died. There's Ace. <laughs> there he, he is. heard us talk about him. He's like, God <laughs> huh? damn it. What? They're making me do this again. Who said my name? 
goddamn cult talking about me. <laughs> I'm sad. He has not officially joined us yet. Not yet. Soon, though. Well, it was supposed to be this week, but Soon. somebody brought home COVID. Yeah. Soon. Damn whoever you were. You were the first one to get sick, so I'm still blaming you. Paul was able to get in. <laughs> it's a god dang miracle. <coughs> Yeah, I am not going to apologize. You're going to hear us coughing or sneezing randomly. And I'm not going to edit that shit out. Oh, it's, it's, no. I am trying to move away from the mic at least. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> we got we got the Rona, so you're going to hear it. I, I, I don't know. I'm not. Hi. <laughs> Next week we have an inter- uh, uh, we have interview roulette with uh, Susan Lanier. Susan Yay. Lanier was in uh, The Hills Have Eyes, um, at the original plus a ton of other things. Um, she is also a very talented blues musician. I was trying. We're going to play um, a couple of her songs next week with the interview. Um, she was a delight to speak to. Um, and all of these interviews have been great to do. I, I've enjoyed talking with them and hearing their stories and i i'm enjoying the response that they're having towards me because you you i've been doing this for a while but you know when you have to do anything in that fashion you're like oh they're gonna think this question's dumb you know in the back of your head so it's it's been nice and i was interviewed yesterday was it yeah time is run all together we have no clue what day it is except for it's friday we're doing a show I was interviewed yesterday um, by Secret Stories of the Underground. Um, it is a uh, podcast out of Nebraska by Danny and Dean, and uh, they're actually in a band called D and D. So, uh, but it, that was fun. Like it was, it was a conversation more than it was like an interview. And you know, they gave me the opportunity to just sit and talk. Which, I mean, you never get that opportunity here. God, no. no. You never just get to sit and talk. Well, and we were when we were talking and doing <laughs> the interview, um, they had said one of the things that, you know, is, is difficult is they find that is getting someone to elaborate on a story when you ask them a question rather than <laughs> just getting a simple straight to the core. They want the whole story. Yeah. Well, or I guess they've experienced a couple of like one 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 or two word answers oh. to the question. And Those whatnot. are the Enjoy doing this. Yes. Yeah. So I, I don't know. It, it happens. Some people aren't talkative. You you want talkative and, and that's one of the things that I brought up is like when you're when you're doing this, when you're interviewing, you want someone who can take that ball and run with it. Well, yeah, because worst case scenario, you just edit some parts out. Right. You can't edit things in. Yeah, your whole your whole objective as an interviewer, in my opinion, is to ask good enough questions that the answer takes twenty minutes. Yeah. Like you can't that you ask a decent enough question that there's no way in hell that they can be like, yeah, and that's it. Yeah. yeah you can't get, can't give them that out. Yeah. Of, in, of yes or no. Or at least ask it if they do give you a shorter answer. You can be like, well, tell me more about that. Hold on. I, I, I'm, I'm interested and in try to drag it out of them. But I haven't had to do that, thankfully. I've, I've had pretty chatty people. and Like uh, Larry Hankin. Uh, oh my as, that was as the greatest. My publicist says you get to go to Larry Land. And, it's and, true. It is a full yeah. land when you're talking to him because he does not stay on one subject. We still don't know the end of a couple of stories he started on. That's that. fine. He'll he can come back. But uh, my interview that I got to do Monday, Mark Scheffler. Uh, Mark Scheffler was in Last House on the Left, the the original, um, as well as many other things. He's a, a comedian and a, a writer for TV shows. He he wrote episodes of uh, Harry and the Hendersons, the TV show. Among many other things, but I, I that that one just sticks out to me. Nobody know, nobody in the room knows Harry and the Henderson. No. I do. Who? I do. You do? Yeah. Oh, because you showed it to me. Yeah, yeah. You got half the room now. Harry. Well, the Hendersons is a really nice family. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just your your classic, you know, eighties, nineties family. Harry is Bigfoot. Oh. And he lives with them, a la Alf. Yes. 
So uh, we watch this tonight <laughs> with our high well, cocoa. It's a it's a TV show and a movie. Oh no! Yeah, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Mr. Actually, Brown. I'll, I do want to take the opportunity to say hello to everybody in the chat room now. Uh, now that I've I've got. Dying. I've gotten into this. I want to say hi hi to Ace, Bitch Tits, Bryce J. Rogers, and I'm coming back to you in a second, Bryce. Mr. Brown, Concubine, uh, Mike Hunt, uh, hi to Odd Man as well, <laughs> the Rollins, and Hootis. I just go right through. Now, Bryce, I want to let everybody know, Bryce J. Rogers is one of our musicians, and uh, Bryce goes live on TikTok every morning at 7 a.m., his time which is mountain time right now he's yes. in arizona where i was that's where i met him um and bryce goes live on tiktok every morning at 7 a.m or around 7 a.m uh mountain time uh and plays music and talks he usually plays eh, six seven eight songs depending on you know so how much time listen. he has yeah um, please do he's an absolute angel yeah uh we absolutely love bryce's music and bryce is a bright and shiny person himself so sweet like i i've heard bryce cuss a, a few times you know when talking to him but like when you meet him he's just this big ray of sunshine he's just the energy. nicest person in the world oh, see look at <laughs> Even in the chat, you could tell. Yeah, like, I met Bryce when we were training for a uh, group home company. Um, we were going to be taking care of residents living in, in group homes. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bryce and I, it was, it, to me, it was like night and day. You know, you have dark, uh, uh, crass, and broody. And then you have Bryce. Which is just this ray of sunshine. He's he's happy. He's upbeat. He's positive. Um, and we got talking during breaks and stuff like that. And uh, I, I found out that he was a musician. I wasn't doing radio or anything like that then. But like those those habits, those skills, they they uh, they 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 don't leave. Yeah. Like you can't help it. They're a part of who you are. Right. And we had just gotten to Tucson and like it, when I hear someone that has talent, cause like he, he started talking to me about playing music and whatnot. And I went and found his music and listened to it. And again, old habits die hard. And I, I was Bryce's fan from that moment forward. He the prettiest voice. Yeah. Uh, folk music mostly i guess is the way but he does covers and stuff and he's he's just got an amazing voice well i'll be checking him out tomorrow morning as should everybody else yeah um i think it's nine our time i might be awake by then yeah 9 a.m our time i don't know if he'll bryce will you be on tomorrow morning it's it's saturday i know you do it during the week monday through friday and that's only because i'm a fucking monster and don't know how to sleep <laughs> i know this morning, what woke me up was actually Bryce singing. Because you had his live on loud enough to try to wake me up. No, I wasn't trying to wake you up. I actually had it down low where I was trying to be able to still be able to hear but not disturb you. I woke up to this. You tapping your phone furiously liking as hard as you could on that video. Yep. Just as hard as you could. Yeah. Gamer fingers come in handy. See, <laughs> the, the way, <laughs> Bryce, call it what you want. Said, now I'll be on. Yeah. So, um, the way TikTok's algorithm works is once you get up to like four thousand likes on your live, it'll start push pushing it out a little more mm -hmm. and getting you a few more people to come in and watch. So that was my goal. I came in right at the beginning when he was getting started this morning and he had zero likes and over the course of him playing i got him up to four thousand likes but that's gamer fingers coming in handy ew <laughs> <laughs> look he's over there with the grinch smile <laughs> <laughs> that phone came <laughs> we got it we got it to the promised land fairly quickly <laughs> Um, but yeah, you've heard Bryce's music on our show before, and uh, you will continue to hear it because we support Bryce, and Bryce supports us. Although Bryce does need to learn to stop using my real name when he's talking to me online. 
Why? <laughs> I just hate it. I, I cringe every time I hear Chris. I prefer to be called odd. I'm not calling you that. You're fine. You're like the only one that I'm like, I get it. I, I, I Yeah. Look, Ace, we have to talk. <laughs> you every five minutes have entered something else <laughs> that weird. Ace, are you as high as giraffe balls right now, Bob? He always is. <laughs> Well, before we go to break, I do want to say uh, I, I want to say thank you to Ace and and my my friend Evan um, for helping me get through this uh, excruciating oh. pain. You do, don't do that to him. Yes, Bryce, it's odd from now on. If you want, when we're talking personally, you can still call me Chris. But like on TikTok and stuff, when we're there in live, I'd prefer to be called Odd because that's the brand and that's what we're trying to sell. Um, you leave Bryce alone. Shut he up. can call you whatever he wants. <laughs> I stand by that. No, there's a few things I can think of that I would not like Bryce to call me. Thank uh, you. He will call you whatever he wants. Shut up. You will like it. Shut up. Daddy, sorry. Daddy, sorry. <laughs> um, I've been trying to reach out to other musicians on TikTok, too, and trying to, to, to get them to, to pay attention and, like, hey, we'll play your music. In fact, I was talking to one last night that I was desperately trying to get them to pay attention, and I got their attention through email, and then they, they ghosted me. And like, it's, they just get... <clears throat> Musicians get the short end of so many sticks. People, you know, trying to take advantage of. Um, I, 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 I don't, I don't have any interest in in taking advantage of anyone. So, Bryce, I think I'm going to ask for your help with that. Is, is since you are a musician, and I do see that you follow other musicians, and and some follow you as well. I think I'm going to ask for your help with that, and we'll talk later about that. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and go to break. Uh, you guys are going to get um, the Carl Gottlieb interview roulette, which I'm absolutely in love with. You're going to get Insane Ian, Delivery Boy, Power Salad, Red Beans and Rice, and you're also going to get Boy Meets Robot, the pants song. <laughs> Do you want those names again? Yes! <laughs> yeah, one more time, bud. Insane Ian with Delivery Boy, Power Salad with Red Beans and Rice, and Boy Meets Robot with the Pants Song. The fuck? Love it here. <laughs> okay, so if you want to grab those songs from where you can, you can go to The Fump, look up The Funny Music Project on Google, or just go to thefump, F-U-M-P dot com. I'm telling you, Funny Music Project is going to get you there, I, I promise. Um... And, and look up those artists, Insane Ian, Power Salad, and Boy Meets Robot. Uh, they are parody songs and satire songs and, and like just funny, goofy, but good music. So You need to talk to Ace. <laughs> you need to talk to Ace. I've been there, buddy. Ace just said, I'm so high I lost the chat box and ended up ordering Grubhub. <laughs> Been That's a neat trick. That. <laughs> That's a great trick, bud. Anyways, you're also going to hear an ad for our brand new sponsor, Big League Brews. Um, big shout out to Big League Brews of Taylor, Michigan. Um, their their uh, their owner just had his birthday last week, so happy belated birthday to Matt Taylor. Oh, and happy belated birthday to Hootis. Because it was Hootis's birthday recently. So I want everyone in the chat to say happy birthday, Hootis. Do it now. We'll be right back. Now it's time for our Patreon shout out. Big thanks to C. Weezy, Bryce Rogers, Tiki, Billy Yum, Justin Burnside and Zaldor of Zaldor's World Podcast for becoming a patron. Welcome to Anef for joining the Cult of Odd Plus. We hope you enjoy our long, uncut and girthy yeah. episodes until you're fully satisfied and left shaking from laughter. For everyone else, you can join our Patreon too. Just head to patreon.com forward slash cult of VOD. Become a patron and reap the benefits today. Tired of regular bar food and bar atmospheres? Yes! Do you long for a place that feels like home where you're treated as family and not just another customer? Yes! Yes! 
then Big League Brews is the place for you. Their menu is the most extensive in all of Downriver. They have an excellent breakfast selection, and they're also well-known for their burgers and wings. But hey, if you don't want to believe just some guy on the radio, Big League Brews has been voted Best Sports Bar in Metro Detroit by Click on Detroit six years in a row. Wow. They have the friendliest staff and a wide array of cocktails and beers, 26 of them on draft, with new creations regularly. Yes! 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 And if you're looking for work, Big League Brews offers the most competitive wages with great medical and dental and vision benefits and plenty of paid time off. So what are you waiting for? Get on over to Big League Brews, located at 20428 Ecourse Road in Taylor, Michigan. Or head to BigLeagueBrews.com for more info. Big League Brews. Go beyond ordinary. Eat and drink extraordinary. When you join the Cult of Odd, you'll be opened up to a whole new level of consciousness. You'll know what's beyond the yellow brick road, what lurks on the dark side of the moon, and what creeps through the forests at night. You'll have a wealth of resources to pull from. A group of favored mentors and spiritual enforcers that will guide you to the path of odd. You're our family. Even if you don't know it yet. Once a member, you become one for life. Because if you leave the warmth and love of odd, you're dead, you're to, dead, us. dead to, us. to us. Head to patreon.com forward slash cult of odd. It sees you, you and knows you want it. I- I- embrace it today. today. Okay, Carl, it's time to play interview roulette. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, so you picked five numbers before we got started. Now we're going to ask the questions that are uh, correlating to those. The first question you picked was number 12. When people look in your eyes, what do you hope they see? Uh, Compassion and intelligence. I I can see that, yeah. Um, 122, if you were a superhero, what would your catchphrase be? There's only one way to do this. (laughs) My way. <laughs> if you could read the mind of one person currently alive, who would it be? Oh, goodness. Probably, boy, good question. If I could read the mind of one living person, Winston Churchill's not alive anymore. Thomas Edison is gone. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, the logical choice would be Donald Trump, but that's such a miasma of misinformation and stupidity and arrogance that I wouldn't want to go there. I imagine it's just one of those wind-up monkeys with symbols in there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, oh gosh, stumped you. you. You you did. I don't I don't know who I, whose mind I'd like to read. Hmm. If you have no answer, that's cool. Well, like, I don't have an answer. Gary Grant, <laughs> but not not alive. Well, you mentioned Thomas Edison. Would you like a fun aside about Thomas Edison with me? Sure. Okay, so I live in Michigan, right? I I live close to Dearborn where the Henry Ford Museum is. Right. Henry Ford Greenfield Village. Right. One of my favorite things to do is to go to the Edison Edison workshop and ask questions about Tesla. (laughs) (laughs) I have been asked to leave on numerous occasions for asking questions about Nikolai Tesla. (laughs) Tesla was a genius. He was. And stolen from left and right. Yep. Okay. So, what's your favorite word? My favorite word? God, there are so many. I mean, I'm, I'm, I live among words. In Suissance. And the definition? Casual, um, kind of a, kind of a casual, not caring, um, not a, casually not appearing to care, even though you may care deeply. Say it again. In Suissance. It's a, it's a I-N-S- French word? Yes, French word. I-N-S-O-U-I-N-C, something like that. It's a beautiful-sounding world. 
Yeah. And then the last question on interview roulette, although I can dig up one more if you want, since uh, the you were stumped on that one, but I, I kind of like the fact that you were stumped on it. The last question is Doritos or Cheetos? Um, uh, Doritos. What flavor? Uh, uh, natural. Nacho? Nacho, yeah. Yeah. That's it, Carl. That's what I've got hey, for you. Well, well, pick another one. Uh, 165. Give me one second here and I'll pull it up. You said 165? Mm -hmm. What's the main thing on your bucket list? Main thing on my bucket list? That you haven't done yet. Zip line over the Grand Canyon? Yeah. That seems like it would be fun. Definitely exhilarating in a rush. Yep. Carl, uh, I want to thank you again for, for being with me. You're welcome. I hope you had fun. It was good for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> Got a job to do. My day begins at a quarter to the crack of noon, and then soon I'll bring you all sorts of stuff to chew. Never thought I'd have this kind of job at 42. Work where? Well, I don't want to be rude. Drop the name of my job and I might be sued. But to be fair, I guess it's fair. You a simple name include the German word for over and what you do to food. Anyway, that's to say the name's weirdly kind of true. But it doesn't matter because this platter is just for you. Order on the app, take a nap, it'll arrive soon. You could go yourself instead. I'm waiting in the drive through Finish up, then I'll bring these treats to you. Rack of ribs or a sausage pizza too. Then I'm out. More deliveries I gotta do. No scenarios cause this is not a porn shoot. Delivering all these clothes on a repeat. Just so I can bring you what you can eat. When you see me zooming down your street. You know I'm delivering something savory or sweet. Order up all the food you enjoy. With long subs or a couple bok choy. Bringing it to you if you're in Illinois. It's my job. I'm a delivery boy. For your order, I'm a Jedi master. No one else will ever bring it to your pasta. Brought it to your door, please be sure to tip me after. I'm the one who drove 20 minutes for your pasta. Speaking of, take a minute, think this over. Why order ice cream any month after October? I don't really mind the time to be your meal chauffeur, but it wouldn't melt if it came from somewhere closer. In the mood for some food that's so delicious? Don't want to cook yourself or have to do the dishes? Baby, I can bring it no matter what your wish is, just as long as you remember to update your address. I'm serious, I'm not being rhetorical, cause when I'm walking with your meal down to your corridor to your apartment, delivering your order. You call me minutes later just to say that you're in Florida. Delivering all these clothes on my feet, just so I can bring you all you can eat. And when you see me zooming down your street, you know I'm delivering something savory or sweet. Order up all the food you enjoy. A long subs or a tub of bok choy. Bringing it to you if you're in Illinois. It's my job. I'm a delivery boy. That's not to say this job is super easy, but the whole rigmarole is so light and breezy. Sometimes it leaves me feeling kind of queasy, and not just because all the food is super greasy. Like when I'm trying to locate your address, and the GPS has got me stressed. Going south on North Street, then East Street, heading west. To make a U-turn when I should just turn left. Inanimate object got me feeling so hostile. I gotta say it drives me crazy. Something awful. I wish it had a neck so I could strangle it and throttle when it mispronounces Chipotle as Chipotle. Never mind all the time I'm spending in my whip, having a backtrack because they didn't give me your chip so I get back in my car and I take another trip just to get your whole meal while you give me half a tip. Delivering all these flows on my feet just so I can bring you all you can eat. When you see me zooming down your street, you know I'm delivering something savory or sweet. Order up all the food you enjoy. Put long subs or a tub of bok choy. Bringing it to you if you're in Illinois. It's my job. I'm a delivery boy. <laughs> Red beans and rice and rice. Red beans and rice and rice. Red beans and rice and rice. Red beans.
The cult of Odd welcomes you to adorn yourself, your walls and even your loved ones with our high quality structural as well as body adornments for you to share our love with the world. We have all manner of material objects for you to covet. From posters, to clothing, to bean juice mugs and even stickers. I'm gonna need more stickers. Give your love to the cult of Odd today. Then you can force that love onto others. They want it. They need it. And they won't survive without it. Head to our little shop of oddities now and support the cult with your love. Go to work. Or get the A. There's chores to do. And bills to pay. Watch the sun come up and start another day. to be this way Now I don't care what they say I'm not putting on pants today I'm not putting on pants today It's better, can't you see? Playing Overwatch in my undies. But go outside when there's TV. I can see my friends, Rick and Morty. Don't talk to me about responsibilities. When I'm eating fruity pebbles and tidy water. What if your mom's on her way? I'm not putting on pants today. I'm not putting on pants today. I'm not putting on pants today. Now's my chance. I'm not putting on pants. They just get in the way when I am playing dance, dance Revolution, a solution to the everyday stance Of total leg freedom, oh don't look at me askance You wish you could be me, just to feel the summer breeze Sitting on the couch in my navy BVDs When gaming and competing, I am never overheating Or working from home in my business new meeting The Pantsless Now I'm just looking for some escape there's only so much Skyrim you can play Won't someone make my problems go away? I'm not putting on pants today Hi there, you're listening to The Plank Man Show on tapdetroit.com. Oh, wait a minute. No, you're not. This is a promo for the show. So if you're listening to this, you're not listening to the show. You need to listen to the show Thursday night at 8 p.m. on tapdetroit.com with myself and Ted Eberly, where not only do we talk local music, we also play local and independent artists from all all around the world, and we get into sports and all kinds of other stuff. So tune in Thursday night, 8 p.m., tapdetroit.com. And we're back. Ace has made everyone but me want pizza. No, I do not want pizza. I'm I'm so stoned right now. I I don't want food. I'm I'm good. White Castle would also be great, Ace. (sighs) Am I hip? I will say this. Currently, my hip does not hurt. I am not looking forward to standing up, though. That's because of how high you are. Yeah. Not looking forward to standing up later. Um, 
We hope you enjoyed that music. Carl was great. Um, that I, if it sounded like he was answering kind of quick, I will let you know. I edited out some silences and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and the 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 interview is edited slightly for everybody, but it had to be, and and you'll figure it out when you get there. You'll see it. Uh, for those of you that that watch. Uh, that are patrons and watch the interview or listen to it <clears throat> um, there's a, a point where the sound cuts out it was supposed to I did that on purpose yeah, yeah. Um, anyone that wants to know why can ask me privately <laughs> <laughs> we will not be saying why on the air no no sir um, I would like to say um, yes Mr. Brown I want I, I, I want you, if you enjoy what we're doing, to share us with as many people as possible, which a lot of you have been doing, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, we need to widen our reach and... and Spread the love. We Spread need more... Love. Yeah. We need more uh, cult members. So uh, go sing the gospel of Odd like and let Herpes everyone know. in the 60s. Uh, also, too... <laughs> I uh, saw your face. We have uh, new merch up at the shop. Um, we have a couple of new designs for the Cult of Odd. Woo! Um, Check it out. One of which is the poster that is hanging behind me. I love it so much. Uh, Mr. Brown, I will get back to you after the show. I'll message you. <laughs> and uh, I put up a, a new design uh, this past week. One of the, the Jesus days. Jesus Christ, do this! I managed to... Uh, to sit myself at the computer for a little bit and dick around with the graphics program. Um, it is a it, it is a pyramid <laughs> covered in tentacles. And uh, are you go okay over there? Look, your chat is wonderful. <laughs> Share the cult like it's an STD. Yeah, there you go. His Grubhub oh, got guys, there. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Grubhub's here. Be right back. <laughs> Closely following this pizza store here. <laughs> <laughs> Hot updates on toppings coming soon. This is the action file news break. <laughs> Ace has gotten his pizza. I just imagine that fi- that realistic fish from SpongeBob. <laughs> Breaking news! That's how I get all of my news now. On TikTok, they have the talking fish yeah. news. Breaking that- news! That's how I get my news. You can feel the edibles now, guys. Area man orders pizza off Grubhub while listening to radio show in chat room. Look what he said. <laughs> what did What did you do? <laughs> how, did you, how did you go so sideways ordering pizza that you wound up with fish tacos? Who paid for them? <laughs> Ace. So, I'm, I'm going to say this. I, I told this to Mark Scheffler as well, online. You you order food first, <laughs> then get stoned. Don't get stoned, then order food. It's never no, been. it's happened many times in this house. And it's been it's a disaster. Better, Mostly by me. Back to the last episode. I know! Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Well, I guess we know his answer to the question of burritos or, ta- or sushi or tacos. He chose tacos. He did not. Tacos <laughs> hey, I don't like him. fish tacos. <laughs> Omega 3s incoming. Uh, well, his how do poor you bathroom. Order even like? This smells funny. <laughs> yeah, we know it was the Puff Puff Pass. All right. <sighs> Since we're talking about weed, and uh, we all got COVID, supposedly, I don't want to disable my ad blocker, M Live. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> um, <laughs> cannabis compounds supposedly may prevent COVID-19 infection. Not likely. Not so. Li- not likely. Listen but- here. <laughs> when I originally found this story, I thought this was neat. I'm going to call bullshit. <laughs> because I'm a, I'm a test subject. <laughs> test failed, bud. There's been a lot of weed in this house. And they, we all have COVID. Either give us better weed or weaker COVID. So, researchers from Oregon... <laughs> 
Researchers from Oregon State University published a study suggesting cannabis compounds known as hemp can prevent coronavirus from entering human cells. Lies! Richard Van Bremen is the lead researcher at Oregon State's Global Hemp Innovation Center College of Pharmacy. That is a fucking mouthful, and you're wrong. <laughs> Uh, oh, and there's more. And Linus Pauling Institute. Jesus. He says hemp compounds are cannabis uh, sativa are reportedly working as a source of animal fat, fiber, and food. Hemp is also used in body lotions, cosmetic, dietary supplements, and, and food. That sounds like a marketing scheme. Yeah. I, again, buddy, living proof, <laughs> you're wrong. Cannabinoid acids bind to spike proteins as SARS-CoV-2. No, they don't. Apparently. Or they need to get better at their fucking job. Yeah. Maybe it works in some people. Maybe it's not a catch-all for everybody else. Because I'm I'm here to tell you, my body is mostly cannabis at uh, this point in my life. Um, I've I've been smoking pretty steadily since about 16. weed <laughs> that sucks <laughs> that sucks god damn it is this all placebo effect i don't think so i i don't think so ace there shouldn't be bubbles coming out of your taco <laughs> Yeah, I you, would not eat the taco, Ace. I repeat, do not eat that taco. Or you might need to see a doctor. One of the two. <laughs> I yeah. But, uh, I mean, it's cool if it works in some people. <laughs> Wish but, they were me. Yeah, I, I would have loved <laughs> to have been the person that this worked in. Um, moving on. I was not. A uh, Hamtramck judge shames 72-year-old cancer patient over blight, saying you should be ashamed of yourself. The man couldn't afford to hire anybody. Nobody would come, and he couldn't do it himself to cut down the, sh- the overgrown shrubs and grass and everything else. And what so, type when- of word vomit? <laughs> what? What type uh, of word vomit? You just... <laughs> I understood everything he just said. I think- <laughs> Pretty sure y'all just stoned. He's. Been, I haven't had anything. <laughs> He's been reading too much on that fucking Facebook group. I've had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Your I part. smell toast. <laughs> I understood everything he said, so that's why okay. I'm the same stroke. Anyways, um, there I, I did see an update to this though. She, uh, the judge, was forced to apologize to the man, but she did. She she said you should be ashamed of yourself. Have you seen that photo? That is shameful. And and. If I could give you jail time on this, I would. How are you going to put a 72-year-old man in jail over a blight? Over the fact... He's got cancer! What's he going to do? Go out and fucking chop it down with the axe himself? Like him and cancer are just going to tag team the yard work? (laughs) Yeah, cancer is not a team player, guys. All right, I'm going to cut the grass. Cancer, you rake it up, please. (laughs) No, but yeah, I couldn't believe this when I read it. I, 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 I couldn't. I don't understand judges, man. Like they're supposed to enforce the laws that are written, but they often seem to be able to get away with interpreting things or not taking into account certain things. Like it's really weird how the court system goes because there is no standard. Good. The petition apparently has thousands of signatures. The petition against the judge. Good. Good. Like, how hard is it just not to be a shitty person? Like, you see he's 72 years old, you see he has cancer, help him out. Don't fucking shame him or punish him. You know, it made it this far, somebody led the hand and helped that man out. Yeah. And I believe somebody eventually did, and like I said, the judge was forced to apologize. That's just shitty. Fuck guys, that judge. Guys, want to talk about aliens? Obviously, I want to talk about aliens. Yeah. Ace, Ace, we're going to talk about aliens, bud. So you pay, can you pay attention now. You can you play with your, those fish tacos. Yes. Yeah. 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 Talking about aliens, you can't eat fish tacos and talk about aliens. <laughs> I don't know. He might be high enough to try it. So. 
A man named Ellis Silver stated that our planet was actually colonized and we are the aliens. I see it. A man named Ellis Silver stated that our planet was actually colonized and we are the aliens. Well, that makes us all colonizers. Ellis Silver's book, Humans Are Not From Earth, um, is in its second edition. Uh, Alice Silver is a top is the top of the list of experts who believe life began on Mars. This is owing to a mineral present in Martian meteorites, which is crucial for life's emergence. Another experiment revealed that comets may have brought amino acids to Earth that would imply that life does not exist solely within the solar system. The origin of life, according to Ellis Silver, in his book, Humans Are Not From Earth, an American environmentalist, Ellis Silver, proposes that humanity may have easily originated on another planet such as Mars. Uh, The expert makes arguments based on human anatomy and physiology. It is not evolved in accordance with the terrestrial ecosystem as other species have. This implies that humanity arrived on the planet from somewhere else. Perhaps they were transported here by extraterrestrials tens of thousands of years ago. Silver is now working on a project to clean up the Pacific of plastic garbage. He claims that the goal of his book is to elicit discussion based on scientific research on the distinctions between humans and other creatures. I mean, so the assumption stemmed because the human evolution has not... Gone like other species. species. Yeah. (laughs) Because you would think there there has to there had to have been something, all right. So if we we supposedly did evolve from monkeys, there is a huge jump point somewhere. There really from, isn't though. From primate to us, yeah. I can't remember what it was. The point is, why did no other species do it too? Maybe they just haven't done it yet. But again. It's Maybe we just got, uh, well, the way evolution works, at least in theory, is that the the traits that best help the population at large survive are the ones that get passed down. So maybe we just happen to get the lucky combination of things early, theoretically. But what, what was that? Oh, I have no idea. I'm like, too high to know. What loot box did we open? Look, EA may have made this simulation, but I don't want to think about that right now. That's well, why our economy is so fucked. It's all loop boxes. Because it, it makes US sense. Government you know, at least looking, looking at it from that angle is, you know, no other creature has evolved. Like, so supposedly we, we evolved from, like, single-celled organisms into to f- fish or uh, things in the ocean that eventually became fish that be- eventually became fish with feet. You know, and life on this planet created in that, started in that fashion. Okay, why then are we the only ones that made it to sentient, tax-paying depressoids? (laughs) I mean, we don't know. Technically, like, dolphins might be sentient. They're intelligent enough. They might be sentient, and we just can't understand them. Smart enough to stay in the water. Maybe that's where they want to be. You've seen our world. Can't make me pay tax on the water. Exactly. Unless there's some fish taxes, but I don't want to think about that Fish either. taxes? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bill. It's time to play, pay you a 6,000 snail shells. Aw, man. It's a living. There's only two things in life for sure. Taxes and death. That's right. I I wanted to uh, remind you all. um, So, Planky had a great show. Uh, He realized that he's been in charge of Tap Detroit now for um, 10 years. Wow. Like, he's been with Tap Detroit for 10 years. And uh, he had a reunion show of uh, himself and his old co-host yesterday. Or last week. Yesterday. Uh, Time is irrelevant right now. Anyways, he recently just had a reunion show with his old uh, co-host, and the reception went really well. So what Planky is doing is tomorrow morning, starting at 8.30, he is doing, uh, he's put up several episodes of the old Tiny and Plankman show 
that you guys can go listen to. Um, and it'll lead into uh, House of Blues with Kevin Hardy. So uh, you can start at 8.30 and listen to the Tiny and Plank Man show Rewinds. Um, and then House of Blues after that. I will check the uh, chat yeah. now. Can we... Uh, can we Ace, can, buddy, I, are you okay? I want a book. <laughs> I want a book out of this. The Adventures of Ace and the Fish Taco. <laughs> Dogs have it cornered, but are scared of the taco. He said it was crawling towards the door. As he Why can't I take a mouse? It's evolving. Taco. It's evolving. Look, God, that taco is going to be the next human. It's already fish and starting to walk. Oh, man. Oh, he's going to have terrible skin. Your skin's like a tortilla. I know. There's just some guy in this house right now. But, um, like I said, I'm I'm totally behind the the at least looking into it or looking at it from a different perspective, because there's there's got to be something. Uh, there's schools of thought that believe that the aliens kind of like mixed with the monkey DNA or early man, whatever that yeah. was. The Neanderthal. But, but my question is still, how do you go from knuckle dragging ape? It's a knuckle dragon human. Yeah, we haven't changed that much. Uh. Oh no. Oh. Ace. <laughs> Ace from Ace Texas. Ace thinks it's growing leg. Oh, Ace, wait, that's, that's not it. a leg. <laughs> you can milk it. <laughs> run, Ace, run. Ace is writing his own horror movie in our chat room. <laughs> We've seen worse. <laughs> I think it's going to be an adult film, though. Fucked by a fish taco. Uh, Freaky fish tacos. Either way, there's definitely going to be some uh, CGI dick. <laughs> the way it's going, I don't think it's going to be CGI. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> All no. real effects. This is one that I meant to talk about with Ace here. Um, unfortunately, yeah, COVID. Uh, <laughs> the last two years, unfortunately, COVID. COVID. Uh, the Baltic Sea Anomaly. Uh, is it a sunken UFO or another hoax? Uh, the Baltic Sea Anomaly refers to interpretations of an indistinct sonar image taken in June of 2011 uh, by Peter Lindbergh and Dennis Osberg and their Swedish treasure hunt group named Ocean X. It was discovered on the floor of the North Baltic Sea at the center of the uh, Bo- Bothnian Sea. That's Bothnian. I don't have a lisp. Um, for its strange appearance, the Baltic Sea anomaly has caused debates on what it could be. It's still unknown. Uh, it's still an unknown object deep in the Baltic Sea, which some say could be a pre-Ice Age artifact or a Nazi anti-submarine device. Uh, Oddly, divers' electrical equipment stops functioning within 650 feet of its location, and a strong radio signal has been detected coming from the seabed area. The Ocean X team has claimed that their image shows a 60-meter diameter circular object which features... Uh, with features resembling ramps, stairways, drag marks, and other structures, which indicate it was not naturally created. Some experts, especially ufologists, uh, have claimed that the Baltic Sea anomaly is the wreck of an alien ship that was somehow sunk in ancient times. At the time, the mainstream researchers considered it to be nothing more than a natural rock formation. The divers who discovered the anomaly deep into the ocean gave samples of stone from uh, the object to a, a Volker Bruchert, an associate of geology at Stockholm University. Swedish tabloids quote uh, Brucher as saying, I was surprised when I researched the material and I found a great black stone that could be a volcanic rock. I hypothesize yeah, that this object, uh, this structure, was formed during the Ice Age many thousands of years ago. In other words, an expert appears to back up the claims that this seafloor object 
is unexplained and perhaps is an Atlantis-like ancient building complex. I didn't get that from what he said, but cool. On the other hand, several imaginative illustrations resembling underwater photos or high-resolution scans have been circling through various news media sources along with claims that the object could be a UFO or portal into another world or an underwater Stonehenge. To this day, there is no conclusive explanation for the existence of the strange Baltic Sea anomaly. This thing's kind of cool here. I'll drop it into the chat room so you guys can look at it too. I, I, I don't stay far away from the chat room. It's full of fish tacos. <laughs> you have no idea the shit's going on. It, it, it is a nightmare fuel. <laughs> You can just curl just, back up in the chat room. Just and doing my show. <laughs> it's in chaos. The ta- <laughs> okay, so after, well, oh wait, that's not a leg. Uh, Ace has said the ta- fish taco has crawled in his boot. Um, There's a fish in my boot. <laughs> then he said Baltic Sea is a carving that got submerged, in my opinion. Um, who does, is the, is it where they got your ta- caught your taco? Could be. River Rouge fish taco is what Mr. Brown said. Uh, tastes like metal. Uh, the taco keeps sticking its leg out of my boot. The dogs are freaking out. <laughs> Pixar it didn't happen. <laughs> Look... I think he's just on some really good weed. <laughs> he's got the co- he's got the stuff to make sure he doesn't get COVID. Look, we've got that same weed here. <laughs> Fair. I think it's over there. It is. Uh, it's by Ari. The taco. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's what I thought too. <laughs> like, oh my god! <laughs> now I can teleport. <laughs> Keep your taco to yourself, Ace. <laughs> Nobody wants your fish tacos. <laughs> Keep them to yourself. <laughs> uh, Holy Mother said my favorite quote of the night, spread like herpes in the 60s. <laughs> Truth. You're welcome, Holy Mother. All right, we're going to go ahead and go to break. You guys are going to get more music if you're listening to the fun size. This is it. This is all you get. Um, there's going to be an ad for the Patreon, but I'm going to go ahead and plug it again. You should join our Patreon. You really yes. should. There's a $5, a $10, and a $20 tier. So I, I did the best I could to make it affordable for everybody. Uh, the $5 tier gets you access to all of our old episodes, like everything, the whole thing, the full thing, in its entirety, including three hours. Including the original version of the fish taco. <laughs> yeah, including the, orig- the, the beginning of the fish taco. Dun, dun. Um... But uh, you'll get a- it's also access to every episode of the Odd Pod. So like I, it, all I did is change the name. Like I didn't rebrand uh, like all the old episodes or anything like that. So there's still the Odd Pod. It's still it, nobody it's wants still to put this. in that much work. Yeah, it's still this. <laughs> Um, but for five bucks a month, you get access to all of them, and, and as long as you're a member, you you get access to the full episodes moving forward. You also get a coupon code to use at Motor City Candleworks to get you ten percent off your purchases. Um, although, Mister Brown, I think we're going to have to update that coupon code here soon. Um, and uh, you also get a shout out because you heard the the patreon shout out earlier and our undying gratitude at the ten dollar level you get all that five dollar stuff plus you get access to the audio version of the full interviews that i i've been doing with uh celebrity guests and then at the twenty dollar level you get all that stuff that i mentioned before but now you get video you get to actually see the interview as it happened definitely worth it the spatial expressions for all of the interviews yeah uh, uh, yeah. Ignore the fish taco story now. It, what the fuck? I'm so scared. <laughs> see, I, see, it's a shame. I've already picked the name for this episode. I, I did it based off of uh, if you were uh, Carl's answer to if you were a superhero, what would your catchphrase be? And uh, there's only one way to do this: is the the episode yeah. of the, or the title of the episode. But if not, it would be Night of the Fish Taco. You're listening to The Cult of Odd on TapDetroit.com. Stick around. We've got more show for you, and I'm 
stoned as shit. <laughs> Are you tired of incense that stinks? Motor City Candleworks is Metro Detroit's number one source for premium handmade incense, as well as hand sanitizer and now massage oil, with a wide array of scents inspired by Michigan cities and attractions. You're sure to find a fragrance that'll keep your love of the mitten burning all year round. Head to MotorCityCandleworks.com and order yours today. And make sure you find them on Facebook, too, for all of their upcoming sales and events. Motor City Candleworks. Michigan handmade scents that just make sense. That smell. The kind of smelly smell. When you join the Cult of Odd, you'll be opened up to a whole new level of consciousness. You'll know what's beyond the yellow brick road, what lurks on the dark side of the moon, and what creeps through the forests at night. You'll have a wealth of resources to pull from. A group of favored mentors and spiritual enforcers that will guide you to the path of odd. You're our family. Even if you don't know it yet. Once a member, you become one for life. Because if you leave the warmth and love of odd, you're dead, you're to, dead, us. dead, dead to us. Head to patreon.com forward slash cult of odd. It sees you and knows you want it. Embrace it today. today.